Hello all, welcome to our channel. In this video, let's see about the important topic for interview which is design patterns in Java. Let's get started. What are design patterns? During software development, developers may face many problems. So these design patterns are nothing but solutions to those problems. So design patterns are the solutions to solve common problems faced by the software developers during software development. This is the very simple explanation for this. What is the advantage of design patterns? Since design patterns are solutions to common problems, they are reusable and can be used in multiple projects. It provides solution that helps to define the system architecture. Also it provides transparency to the design of an application. They are well tested and proven because they are built by experts. Here comes the famous question. What is Gang of Four? Actually, there are four authors. They published a book called Design Patterns Elements of Reusable Object Oriented Software. These four authors are called a Gang of Four because they introduced the concept of design pattern in software development. How are design patterns differ from algorithms? Both design patterns and algorithms, they provide solution to a problem. But algorithm means it will define a clear set of actions for achieving a goal that is it is like a procedure to complete a task whereas design pattern it will provide a high level description of any solution so if you are applying this design pattern to two different problems means they can be same but the logic of implementation will be different for both and it is based on the requirements only so algorithm will define a clear set of action whereas design pattern will provide only high level description. What are the types of design patterns? There are basically three types. First one creational pattern. It is related to how the objects are getting created. Then structural pattern. It is related to the structure of classes. Then behavioral pattern. It is related to how objects are getting communicated. What is creational pattern? As we saw earlier, it is used to define and describe how the objects are getting created. Let's see the types of them. Factory pattern, abstract factory pattern, singleton pattern, prototype pattern, builder pattern. To understand more about creational pattern, uh, let's consider we have a car class. How we will create an object for this car C is equal to new car that is by using new keyword. But here the problem is it is more tightly coupled. So to avoid this only by using this creational pattern we will follow some strategies so that our code become loosely coupled. Let us understand about factory and abstract factory pattern with the help of one simple example. Here we have taken classes called bicycle, bike, car, bus and van. All these classes as we all know it will come under vehicles right. So we can keep this under one interface called vehicle interface and all these classes will implement this vehicles because they all will have some common functionalities. Uh, similarly when to create these classes all those creation logic we can keep it under factory class so that the client can call simply this factory class and the client will not know how the object is getting created in the background. Uh, this is called factory pattern and let's see the definition for this. It says define an interface or abstract class for creating an object but let the subclasses decide which class to instantiate. That is here object is getting created without exposing the creation logic to the client and refer to the newly created object by using a common interface. All those logics to create a object will be having that in the factory class so that the client will not know how it is getting created in the background. Advantages of this are it will allow the subclass to choose the type of object to create so that code is more loosely coupled. Ok when to use it means when based on input we need to create the object of the classes. What is abstract factory pattern? As the name says it is also similar to factory pattern only. The abstract factory pattern means here the bicycle and bike will have some common functionalities right because they will come under two wheelers. Similarly the car bus van will come under four wheeler. So we can have two more classes as two wheelers and four, wheel four wheelers. These two classes will be implementing the vehicle interface. Here if you see it is like family of objects right. So this is called abstract factory pattern. It says just define an interface or abstract class for creating families of related objects 
but without specifying their concrete subclasses that is it is mainly for families of objects so it is also known as factory of factories advantage for this is it will isolate the client code from the implementation classes it is mainly for exchanging the object families what is singleton pattern and when to use it the singleton pattern is the concept of having only one object for class example java.lang.runtime how to create this pattern means I create a class with one private constructor so that this class cannot be called outside a static field containing only instance and then a static factory method to get the instance by using this method only this class can be called and why we have this as static means since we can call this by using class name itself example for database connections we can use because only once we will be connecting to the database and after that uh, by using the same object we can uh, perform some functions like insertion update update or delete what are the different ways to create singleton design pattern in java actually there are many ways to create it but the famous two ways are early loading and lazy loading early loading means here we have taken a class called singleton and the instance to create a class that is a singleton instance we have taken uh, here if you see the object is getting created here itself then uh, we have a private constructor after that a method called get instance to return this instance then lazy loading here also we have a class called singleton and then a field to create the instance here if you see in early loading at this place itself we are creating the instance but here we are just uh, declaring it then the private constructor after that a method to call this instance so here we are first checking if the instance is null or not that is if it is already there or not we're checking and then only the instance is getting created and it is returned how can we achieve thread safe singleton pattern the lazy loading pattern how we have created that is not actually thread safe so we can do some slight modification in that to uh, make that thread safe let's see about it here one keyword is used to call synchronized to make the code thread safe again we are checking if instance equal to equal to null or not then the instance is getting created what is builder design pattern this pattern is used to build a complex object by using simple objects and this will follow a step by step approach example how you will prepare a coffee you will follow some steps right and uh, finally you will prepare a coffee so this final object will be coffee here and and those steps are like simple objects here what is the advantage for this means it will provide more control over the object creation since we are following step by step approach on real time example is let's take one user registration form here it has first name last name date of birth address mobile email here the address and email fields are optional so if you are creating this through constructor means it will be more tough right because we need to create more constructors uh, since we have this optional fields also we may need to follow sequence how uh, the fields are getting inserted uh, so by using this uh, builder design pattern since uh, here we will be uh, following step by step approach and can be built by using simple objects right uh, so this will be more helpful in this case what is structural pattern as the name says this pattern is related to the class and object composition in order to create larger structures types are adapter pattern bridge pattern composite pattern decorator pattern facet pattern flyweight pattern proxy pattern what is adapter pattern consider we have two interfaces uh, that two interfaces are unrelated to each other that is they cannot be connected so in that case this adapter pattern will act as a connector between these two incompatible interfaces how means it will wrap an existing class with a new interface so that it becomes compatible with the client's interface so we'll have all those logics how to connect between these interfaces uh, those logics will be there in this adapter class a very good example for this is mobile charger here the electricity from our home is one interface and uh, the mobile is another interface so these two cannot be connected directly right so for that this mobile charger that is on adapter will use to uh, charge our phone so same this adapter pattern also will work 
in real time example application connecting to different databases what is proxy pattern in general proxy means instead of so instead of one object another object will be used proxy means an object representing another object so this pattern will provide control for accessing the original object and it will hide that original object this proxy pattern is also known as surrogate or placeholder example for this is our office internet access or college internet access because whenever we are trying to access the something uh, which is uh, not allowed to access means which are not permitted to use means what we will get we'll get something like blocked right how it is happening there will be one server called proxy server so it will first check whether that site is allowed or not if it is not allowed then it will block it